Hi, I'm Miss Corey, and I'm also a safe space advocate. I am one of the librarians here at Grace Church High School. I would say that a safe space advocate is anyone who is a part of a community and wants to help that community be inclusive and welcoming um, and helpful and beneficial to all of its members. There are some ways where bullying, I think, has changed since I was a kid in school um, because there is like a whole online sort of digital component to it, um, and that I think that that can be sort of hard to deal with and hard to think about because maybe it can feel a little omnipresent. It can feel sort of, um, I don't know, relentless because you can never really sort of escape your social media accounts. It's sort of following you wherever you are. It's, it's actually like, it's literally in your pocket. You're bringing, potentially you're bringing bullies around with you. When I was in seventh grade, I had a group of friends. There were, there were four of us. Yeah, so I used to go to another camp in sixth grade. Um, we had this kid, he thought it'd be funny to post a suicide prank. There were two girls in the group who didn't really like me and I got in a fight with, um, I got in a fight with one of them and it was pretty bad. And like, like literally the entire school like, like was like, oh, don't do it, don't do it. And then later what happened was we all started making fun of him online and it just really went downhill from there from him. That, and it, you know, it really like came back from that. And a couple days later, the other, um, the other two added me to a group chat that this third girl was in, and I, I didn't know why. And then they started making these comments to me. They started telling me how much they disliked me. They told me that I should go kill myself. They told me that they didn't want to talk to me ever again and that I should just leave them alone. I think that there are elements of it that are the same from when I was a kid, though. I think that sometimes it can just be because people are being thoughtless, they're not really like being very careful about, their, about how they're talking about people and how they're treating people. Um, the, I guess the, the people who are being a little bit more aggressive are just being thoughtless, and that's the same. That's, that's, I think that's sort of how it's always worked. Um, it's just that the digital element sort of keeps it with you. And, and I think, I think that, the biggest difference though, honestly, I think is um, a lot of that sort of bullying behavior sort of continues once you're an adult and out on social media. When I hear about like online bad behavior, I hear about it, you know, to, to people who are just more public figures that it's happening to. Or unfortunately, I can hear about it like from, you know, kids here a little bit. I don't think we'll ever be like able to be fully away from cyberbullying behavior here at Grace or in the world, um, but I do think that we have um, a lot of different opportunities to talk about it as a community and to sort of cultivate a habit of thoughtfulness, hopefully, that's the ideal. Um, when kids come in and they start here in the high school, they have to sign the acceptable use policy and hopefully that gets them started on thinking about the choices that they make online and the way that they're treating people. Um, we have different conversations about it in our digital tools class because it is DTC, digital tools and citizenship. So that's where hopefully we can actually have some productive conversations and reflections on the choices that we make.